All oh, right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Hacking Self Storage. It's Monday morning. That can only mean one thing. We are going through my week in numbers. Uh, not a great week, but I do believe that there is reasons for that. Um, school holidays, start of a school holidays, always traditionally a slow week for us. And hopefully we'll get back on the horses next week. But the website and everything and all the sales process is performing exactly the same as it has done for the last three weeks. Our website is still conveying at 6%, and that's been the same for three weeks. So at least we're consistent there. Before I go any further, don't forget, if you are new to this channel, hello. On Mondays, what we do is we go through my week in numbers. I tell you absolutely everything about my self-storage business and the numbers, the conversions, the amount of money we're taking, etc. And then um, I've also got a newsletter called MrSelfStorage.com. So head on over there, and every single day you will get an email from me with a previous day's results from my self-storage sites. And we also talk about uh, self-storage tips and stuff like that, um, anything that I think that I've recently learned to grow your business. This week, we'll have an episode on Wednesday and Friday. Next week, we're going to have an episode on Wednesday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as well. And then uh, it's only during the summer holidays. And then in September, because during the summer holidays, I try to take off as much time as possible with the kids. We're going away in the caravan to Wales tomorrow. Uh, do you know what I'm hoping? I am literally hoping that I can sneak off from the, <laughs> from the wife and kids and actually go and see Blue Cell Stories. I don't know. There must be a Blue Cell Stories near that. I'd love to go and see them, guys. Um, so... <laughs> Fingers crossed, I'll uh, update you. So what I'm going to do is record all the episodes today for the next two weeks. And um, and then, yeah, so it's so it's already done. And then, obviously, the newsletter I do on the morning anyway. So, yeah, there'll be some content coming out all this week. All right, so let's have a look then. The, the quotes last week. So here's the overview, the headshot. 99 quotes we had. And by the way, if nobody knows, I was on the BBC website last week. I absolutely loved it. It was great. I got so many messages from people I haven't spoke to in ages saying, Dean, what the hell is your ugly mug doing on the BBC website? I was like, yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> it was awesome. I didn't, didn't even know it was going to be published or anything. Uh, anyway, right, 99 quotes as a whole last week. It's a little bit slower, like I said, than normal. We normally about that 120, 130 mark. We lost 125 square foot across the whole store mall and the other 24 sites. We did 28 reservations. That's the 28% conversion rate. It's around about where we want to be. We want to be 30% ideally, but 28%, we can't really grumble at that. Move-ins, we moved in 26 move-ins last week, and that's a 26% conversion rate. Again, it's roughly where we want to be. Scrolling down my information page, last week, a bit of a slow week for revenue. We took 39425 Mansfield was 5,176. Wrexham was 3,401. Clough Road was 8,581. And Beverly was 3,470. And Willoughby, the big, big site, 18,795 we took there. Um, reservations. Who did the most reservations last week? Jack. Jackie Boy was up top with 10 reservations. Awesome work, Jackie Boy. Um, we did four online reservations as well. So what conversion rate is that? Must be in here somewhere. Yes, 14% of my reservations booked online. We are going to consistently try to improve this. After speaking to other people in the industry, I actually do think that my website converts less than other people's. One of the reasons I do believe it is, and this is, oh, wait a sec, so you're converting less because you're so good. Yes, basically what happens is someone does Somebody puts in their details, do, 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 uh, telephone number, our email address. Um, we get an email sent to us and we're straight on them. So we we almost don't allow people time to book online because we're, we know they're in front of a computer then. So we call them back as soon as we possibly can do because we know they're thinking about self-storage. They're looking at self-storage right there. And, then, and they might have some questions that we can help them with. So we ring them straight away. And so that is probably why our conversions um, for online are – less because we get to talk to the customers before they get a chance to do that right let's have a look at the individual sites in willoughby willoughby we had 28 quotes last week 10 reservations willoughby just performs it really really does 36 percent conversion rate the only problem with willoughby is the chain rate i think the chain's still quite high we can we don't ever really get over 80 percent, which i know is more than the national average but I just want to hit that 90% mark at Willoughby. I really do. I just can't get there, but we'll get there eventually. I'm sure of it. So 
Uh, 10 reservations. Move-ins, we did seven. So that's a conversion rate of 25%. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, 510 square, 690 square foot moved in in total. And guess how many moved out? 945. Oh, two, and it gets worse. Bloody hell does it get worse. This week is going to be a bad week. Um, 255 net down we was last week. So not great in terms of net square foot for Willoughby. But we was expected a, a, a loss for, for Willoughby this week. So, yeah, it's nothing we didn't expect. We we have a free van rental. Uh, guess how many times the van was rented out? Out of seven? No, it won seven. No, Paul. No, you're wrong with four. Can you imagine if somebody sat there guessing they really is called Paul? <laughs> it was it was six. So six times the van was rented out. Nine internal rooms moved in, 12 moved out. That is 357 totally occupied. Two containers in, two containers out, 50 containers occupied. Um, we still got two car parking spaces. Them guys are paying crazy money for us, uh, which is good. Occupancy at the minute is 80.13. Average merchandise sales per move-in was £35.71, so that's good. Insurance, a little bit down. The average was 5,142. This is a worrying bit. Next week, we're due to move in 745, but we're due to move out 1,470. Yeah. God damn it. Clough Road, 26 um, quotes at Clough Road. We had five reservations, so not good there. Um, but we don't have very many units left at Clough Road, so that is obviously why as well, because if we don't have units there, we can't we can't reserve them. So that's 19% conversion. Six move-ins, uh, so that's a conversion rate of 23%. We moved in. 650 square foot, we moved out 275, so we're net up 375. Insurance was a low one last week. We averaged 4,666. Normally, we like to hit 6,000 um, as an average, so yeah, just a bit below there. Next week, it's marginal. There's not money coming in. There's not money coming out. 325 in, 340 out. Beverly, we had... Beverly is starting to worry me a little bit. Nine quotes, no reservations, no movings. We lost 320 square foot. We're, we've currently got 70 rooms at the minute. Um, and that's our occupancy. Can't ever remember it being as bad as this. That is the truth. 72%. So all the other sites are really smashing it. Um, let's have a look. Wrexham, yeah. Wrexham's Clough Road, yeah. Uh, of, of Glasgow, we'll get to that. Um Mansfield, yeah. Yeah, the, the the Rory, Willoughby's okay. It's not smashing it. But the Rory is Beverly. I just don't understand it, man. We're going to have to do a deep dive into Beverly and see. But 72%, yeah, it's, uh, it's not great. There's no move-ins this week and no move-outs. Very, very quiet week. And we're in the middle of bloody summer as well, so it's, we want to be 90% at Beverly. That's what we normally are this time of year. But the revenue is still good, so that's the main thing. Rexham, 11 quotes. We've got two reservations. That's 18% conversion rate. But again, we've got no or very, very few units available at Wrexham. Um, we moved in five, so that's a conversion rate of 45%. 530 square foot moved in, 520 square foot moved out, so we're up 10 square foot. Woohoo! What is it with insurance last week? Uh, average insurance was 4,400 last week. We've got 10 square foot moved in uh, due to move in this week and two, uh, two move outs for 135 square foot. Mansfield, a little bit short on the quotes last week, like every other site. 18 quotes. We reserved 11. Whoa, that was good. 61% conversion rate. Wow, I didn't. I, I must have missed this when I've been looking over. I was like, wow, what, what? Yep, so crushing it, absolutely crushing it. We had eight move-ins. So that's a 44% conversion. We moved in 675, but we moved out 610. So not great there. Uh, we've got 138 rooms occupied. 16 containers out of 20 uh, rented out. Car parking spaces, we've got 15. Um, where store occupancy is 56% at the minute. And again, the insurance is low. 4,375 uh, was the average insurance sold last week. This is good though. The amount of square foot due to move in next week is 735 um, and only 75 due to move out. So really, really good. Glasgow, right? Glasgow on the face of it looks Really, like it's doing really poor. And it is, but it's all my fault. 
and we've done a soft open. We've got so many other things going on at the minute that I haven't had time to focus on Glasgow. So we've, we're going to get some signs sorted. We still haven't got the bloody signs sorted because the council wants to put signs up. But do you know what? I always say, ask forgiveness, not permission. So we're going to put signs up. Um, yeah, put the signs up. And then um, we're going to have an open day. We're going to you know, put banners around. Um, we're going to fly us everywhere, do some Facebook ads. And we're going to get this site rocking and rolling. Absolutely convinced that we'll, we'll get this um, looking amazing. So we're going to focus more on Glasgow. Um, but it should be should be really fruitful. I'm sure of it. We're eleven percent full at the minute, uh, but we will get there. Google Analytics. We had twenty eight reservations, as you know, and we had five hundred and five website visitors, new website visitors. So that's a six percent conversion rate. I think that is phenomenal. Our website is performing really, really well. Um, and let's not forget, people have a have a nosy as well. Why wouldn't they? Everybody else, I, I, I nosy everybody else. So. We are going to have people who know Z from the podcast, from the newsletter, from the WhatsApp group. People are going to start having a look at the website. And uh, why wouldn't they? And so even with that all factored in, we're still doing 6% conversion. So that is really, really good. All right, my friends, uh, that is it. I've got tons to do today because we will win the caravan tomorrow. So I've got to skedaddle. And if you're watching this on LinkedIn or YouTube, I'm getting my hair cut. So as you can see, I've got like a little quiffy thing going on here that I just can't control. <laughs> <laughs> told you behind the scenes you get really all everything all right i love you i appreciate you and i'll see you on wednesday tara